Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Latin Connection TV with your host, Rita Varios, bringing you the most of the connection here in the community in San Antonio at a really wonderful event. I feel so grateful and so blessed to have been asked to do this, to have this way of helping abused women, women who have gone through so much, to benefit organizations that help women get right back on their feet and go out there and be the strong, independent women that we are all meant to be. And speaking of strong, independent women, I have one right to my left. She is Pamela Taylor, and she is the reason that I started doing the volunteering that I've done through my work to help uh, abuse women's organizations. She is the head of one such organization called Dress for Success. And as you can see, she practices what she preaches because she is Dress for success this evening. Hola, Pamela. Nice to see you. Hi, Rita. Thank you. It's so wonderful to see you again. In fact, we reuniting here because yeah. thanks to you, as I was just mentioning, tell them a little bit about the past event that we did. The about the marathon. Oh, my goodness. That was the first marathon we've ever done. It was a great event. It, one of the best part was meeting you. Oh, thank you. Likewise. And, and as I thank you so much, as I said, I'm so grateful now I get this way of publicly thanking you for reaching out to me and giving me what a fun way that I get to help this cause. Thank you. And I'm so blessed that we get reunited. So, Pamela, please tell our viewers a little bit more detail of what Dress for Success does what the organization does. We are a workforce development organization and what we do is we help individuals who are very low income. We make sure they get jobs, make sure they stay employed so that their children are never on public assistance. So it breaks that cycle as you were mentioning and, and what they do is literally dress these women so that they're able to go out and have successful job interviews with outcomes where they come out getting hired and getting those jobs and give us one such woman that's kind of a little segue we have a really wonderful story to share with you of one such example and this is just one of so many and why it's so important to donate and at the end of this I'll give you a website where you too can reach out and help donate to dress for success so tell us a little bit about this one success story. the, of the client I was mentioning to you I mean, we're so proud of her but yes. we're really proud of all of our clients and this is like you said this is one story we have many many successes stories and um, this young lady had was kicked out of her home when she was 16 and what do you do when you're 16 and you're living you're literally living on these streets and just trying to find a place to, to sleep and get enough to survive food, just to fun. survive just to survive <laughs> and so um, you know she turned to um, some illegal activity was involved it was arrested and drugs and and um, prostitutions different kinds of things that she was involved in just like I said just to survive and um, she had two children while living on the street continued to live on the street and finally was able to turn her life around came to dress for success and really credits us for helping her to do that to accomplish that and one of the most interesting things that she said is the fact that we didn't judge her we just loved her we taught her about who she really is and we helped her with not only the clothing that you so graciously brought about but we also helped her with interviewing and we helped her to develop her self-esteem and Yes, and, and they so do, they do teach them those interview skills and even help them to put together their resumes. And now this young lady has become a successful. She uh, she graduated from Texas A&M University, and she is now married. And she her, she's buying a home. She's got a great job. She has stabilized. She's we're so like I said, we're so proud of her. Wonderful. Yeah. And that's all thanks to once again Dress for Success. You can find them. Reach out on the website, which is on the screen. It is. Dress, it's www.dressforsuccess.org slash San Antonio. There you have it. So go ahead and reach out to Dress for Success and help someone out there become a success. Thank you. Stay tuned. I'm going to be right back with more interviews from this really wonderful event, helping women who have gone through abusive situations get back on their feet and become a success. Right here on Latin Connection TV. Thank you.
So with that, let me introduce myself. My name is Rita Varios, and it is my honor and my pleasure to be here tonight as your host. I am known for my participation on a reality show called Survivor, which goes very much hand in hand with why we're here. Uh, I got to play the game of Survivor, but we're here really representing and, and helping women who are true survivors, and all the proceeds from tonight are to benefit women that have gone through very difficult times and hand in hand with Dress for Success, which part of the benefits from tonight are going to go to that. Uh, and it's really from Women in Heels. Some of you tonight have arrived, hopefully with some donations, some heels to donate. And I always like to say, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm from Venezuela, where we really like to empower, yes, some Venezuelans in the house. Yes. And in fact, that gives me a segue to thank one of the sponsors tonight, which is Madame Lulu, is the boutique that is providing all the dresses that are going to be modeled and featured this evening. Uh, and it goes hand in hand with what, what I was trying to describe. The Venezuelan woman, uh, we are really from when we're small little girls, we are taught to be proud of our femininity. And, and and thankfully, it's been proven. We've been really, really blessed and humbled by so many official Beauty Queen titles. I, in fact, I'm a former Miss Venezuela myself. But the important part of that is the empowerment. The Venezuelan woman has done what Dress for Success and Women in Heels is trying to do. And that is to show you the power behind being feminine. There's an art to it, and it is very powerful that that you can develop that, and I think that the Venezuelan women were very blessed to have kind of uh, have, have um, perfected that art of being feminine, and Dress for Success is doing that, empowering women, women in heels, and we're here tonight to, to witness a wonderful fashion show, and without further ado, I want to get started. interviews here at the Dress for Success Women in Heels event and I'm standing right in the middle of two of the forces behind this event tonight. Thank you so much to Valerie and to Luisa. Thank you so much for giving me this way to continue to be involved with the community which I love so much to do. It's such a blessing you've given me this fun way as the MC this evening of Women in Heels helping Dress for Success to empower women. To my left, Mrs. River City. Hello Val, how are Hi. you? Fine. Can you tell our viewers, please, how you came up with this event to this evening? Well, I have helped uh, Dress for Success uh, maybe three, about three times already in the past seven months. And, uh, wow, that's a lot. Yes, it is. Good for you. And uh, what I like about Dress for Success is that, uh, of course, that it's local here in San Antonio, but they are nationwide. Yes. But what touched my heart is that they actually help over a thousand women, San Antonio women, in a year. And how did you come to know about, because I, I have also been very blessed and very lucky to help Dress for Success in the past couple of years. How did you come to know about Dress for Success? Well, I had heard about it, but then, uh, you know, as I was, as as I got my title as Mrs. River City, I wanted to actually help organizations that benefit San Antonio and then Dress Up for Success came about. Very good. Sometimes those things find us, like I just mentioned, you finding me to exactly. be able to do yeah. this event. Yeah, like, so you thank know, you. It was a blessing. Very much. So uh, I met Pamela and then as a matter of fact, when I went in and I toured the, fa the facilities, uh, I got to know more about what they do and how they help the women. And it's not only helping them find wardrobe, it's right. actually, you know... Teaching them, as I mentioned earlier. In fact, I interviewed Pam and we explained how they, they give them the tools to learn how to put together their resumes. Yes. And so they're prepared, completely prepared, not just with the wardrobe. But you know what I have to say is I'm going to mention this. It's one of my favorite sayings in Spanish with my fellow Venezuelan here to my left who I'm going to get to in just a minute, that people eat with their eyes. 
La gente come con los ojos. And so it's a very important part of your presentation, especially when you're going to a job interview, is that first impression, because sometimes you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So it is very important what they do, but you're right, Val. Uh, Val was going into the fact that they do train the women at the centers for Dress for Success, teach them how to put together their resumes, teach them interviewing skills. So really a wonderful organization. And I want to get right to Luisa, to our right. How did you find each other? Because we're talking about how things sometimes find us. So how did you find each other, Luisa? Well, actually, Valerie found me. She called me one day, and she said, this is Valerie, and I have this charity that I want you to help me with, and I was very happy to help her. You know, I have a boutique that I opened about 16 months ago because I love women. I think women are so powerful and they're so beautiful. And I, I love to make them look beautiful. And so, well, in so, fact, so we got together and I, I was so happy to, I love Valerie, I think she's great. Valerie is great and so are you, Luisa. I wanted to, to thank her. She is the boutique, Madame Louis, Louis Lou. Yeah. And you'll see that on the, on, is there a website? Because I want to yes, put that there on. is a website, www.madamelouisboutique.com. And you'll see that on the screen. So please go out there and see the beautiful fashions. I'm still wearing one of them. And so is Val from her boutique. And as a matter of fact, I love what you said. It was a little bit of what I said in our intro about the power of women. I also love to empower women, which is why I, I like to be involved with this Dress for Success organization. Uh, and I always talk about she being a fellow Venezuelan. I mentioned how, as we're little girls, we're really lucky, aren't we, um, Luisa, that we're raised as Venezuelan women to be very proud of being feminine. And in fact, we're trained. We are trained by the uh, Sara of Beauty, Este Osmel Sosa to find that, that power in femininity. And so that's, in a way, in a very important way, exactly what Valerie has done today with Women in Heels and Dress for Success is doing. So won't you please help us to continue to help these wonderful organizations join with my two fellow women here to continue to help women feel beautiful on the inside and on the outside so they can get back on their feet and go out there and strut their heels right to the women in heels so that they can be the powerful beautiful intelligent successful women that they're all meant to be you can do that but getting on those websites any one of those dressforsuccess.com uh, madame louis louis boutique and also womeninheels.com